What's up everybody, Josh here with ATX Guitar Lessons. We're going to be doing a lesson on Redemption Song by Bob Marley. Uh, so, this is going to be a little bit different. There are tons of videos out there already talking about the basic chord, you know, the chord structure, the chord progression. Um, and I think it'll be pretty easy for you guys to find that. And if you think maybe there's a mistake, I have my own transcription here. Um, I'd be happy to share that with you or answer any questions you have if you think somebody is, is a little bit off. What we're going to be looking at, I'll go ahead and talk to you about that opening riff in case you know you didn't like the way somebody else did it or um, I'm sure everybody teaches it maybe slightly differently without the grace notes, stuff like that. Um, the main point of this is we're going to be looking at the strumming pattern. Uh, Bob Marley was using a, an ovation guitar and he was using a palm mute with his right hand, which we're going to discuss. And you can get a lot more out of the song than just this basic... That basic strumming pattern that everybody uses for every song ever, right? Uh, we're getting into something new here. This song is all about accents, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So two different techniques to think about there. Uh, pretty, heavy, he, pretty heavy on thinking about rhythm. So anyways, let's start with the opening riff. I'm just going to call out the fret numbers. Um, I'll run through that once. I'll play it slow, and then I'll play it fast, and we'll move on to the strumming stuff. So fret 3 of string 6. Open 5. And then you're going to play open 5, but hammer down on fret 2 immediately. That's 2nd fret of string 5. Back to the 3rd fret of string 6. Now you're going to put your 1st finger on the 2nd fret of string 5. You're going to play that, but immediately hammer on the 3rd fret. And then move up to the 4th string, play open, but immediately hammer on to the 2nd fret. And then open four, second fret, fifth string, third fret, sixth string, open five, open five, but hammer on fret two quickly, open four, second fret of string five, and then second fret of string five, but hammer on three immediately pull off to fret 2 so pull from pull your second finger off leave finger 1 on then open 5 third fret string 6 here it is real slow tempo cool cool little riff have fun with that so like I said we're not going to talk about the entire chord progression uh, but I will use the first line of the verse here to kind of run through so you can hear what the sound is so the basic idea um, for those of you who understand rhythm, um, we're playing straight eighth notes. We're just kind of chucking along on straight eighth notes, and they're all down. Everything's down. Um, the accent is going to be on beat one, the upbeat of two, and the upbeat of three. So very syncopated with the accents. Beat one, the upbeat of two, and the upbeat of three. So if we're looking at a string of uh, a line of eighth notes, right? That would be your first eighth note, your third eighth note. I'm sorry, your first eighth note, your fourth eighth note, and your sixth eighth note. Or if you're just thinking eight strums in one measure, then it would be your first drum, 
your four strum, and your six strum. That would be accented. So, and we'll talk about the palm mute in a second here. So on one, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or to count it in the more traditional way, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and four. Alright, so you can get that feel for the accents without doing the palm mute. So I'm strumming through the entire chord for the most part when I'm accenting and then when I'm just kind of lightly strumming the strings, I'm really just hanging on a couple strings to keep, uh, to keep the sound going, right, to keep momentum, but the accent is really the key to the strumming pattern. So um, I could may potentially do a complete separate video on palm muting, but basically you take uh, this part of your hand, which I call the heel of the hand, I don't know if that's correct or not. But anyways, you take this kind of curved part outside of uh, underside palm of your hand and we're laying it in line with the saddle here. We're not necessarily going to be right on top of it. There's a little sweet spot where, you, where you'll get the sound that you want. So if I'm on the bridge pins, my strings are still going to ring out and I'm going to get that really metallic sound because my strings are tighter there and more tense. And then if I'm way too far over on the strings, right, so I'm kind of anchoring here. If I'm way too far on top of the strings, then I'm just going to mute them completely. And I get nothing. So you want to slide your hand around to find that sweet spot. And I think right around, right around the saddle or maybe just slightly behind it, just be conscious of what part of your hand is touching the strings. Um, and I think you'll figure it out. Just takes a little bit of experimenting, not too difficult, and you just kind of got to get used to this motion. So I'm going to play through the first line here, um, and you're going to hear one spot where we have uh, two chords in a measure. The chords change a little bit quicker, and the accents are changed there, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. You'll probably get a natural feel for it. Um, the other, the strumming pattern with the accents I just talked about, that's the main part of it and that's played through the entire song. He experiments a little bit with it, uh, which I encourage you to do as well, but you want to make sure that you can get you know this one pattern down and use that as your foundation and then build upon that. Uh, so we're moving through G major, E minor, C major, G over B, and A minor. <laughs> faster I'll see if I can get that a little bit louder I don't know how it's coming out in the mic there um, with it being muted sorry anyways that should add a pretty cool little flavor to the song I mean that's what's being done on the recording and doing the same strumming pattern over and over and over again gets pretty mind numbing. So have fun with it. Learn a new technique. Uh, get as much as you can out of each individual song. I think this has more to offer than uh, most people suggest. So have any questions, please let me know. Send me a message. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment, and good luck. See you guys.